Welcome to Objective Complete. You know, I'm Whiskey, and uh, this is my channel. I've been doing it for the past four and a half years, since 2000 to 2014. And uh, yeah, I'm here to give you guys an update on what I use today to record and stream gameplay capture. And uh, I use the Elgato AC60 Pro along with OBS, you know. And I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step, uh, how to set up your OBS and uh, what equipment I use. And yeah, let's jump to it, shall we? So I started out with the Elgato HD on my PS3. And then I moved up to the Elgato HD 60 Pro. And uh, invested in some good headphones like the Astro A40s. Those are really good ones. And getting a mic. You know, I got the Blue Yeti. It's pretty good. And mic stand, if you have an extra bucks to spare. And I got this on Amazon for like 20 something bucks. Logitech C920. Alright, once you get your uh, PS4 hooked up to the PC via your Elgato HD60 Pro. And then uh, you're gonna wanna go to the Elgato website to download the software which carries the driver that the OBS software will be able to recognize. And then once you install both of them, maybe make sure you get the latest OBS Studio and install it, and then we'll continue. And uh, before you add your HD60 Pro to OBS, you have to first download the Elgato software because those carry the drivers. And uh, you know, configure your Elgato to what you're going to be capturing with your Xbox, PS4. Or uh, we whatever in in your Elgato software, and then close that up, and then open OBS, and then you could add you know your Elgato 60 Pro, and then once you got your scene going over here, you go to your source is where you could add your actual uh, game capture here, and face cam is a Logitech C20, the 30 FPS version. You know I want to get the. Uh, 60 fps version but well i also want to get a dummy battery for my gh5 so i can use that as a face cam every now and then and display capture this is uh you know for when i'm playing some pc play like uh, i think last pc game i was playing was dead space anyways let's move on to settings and this is all general default you know streaming get your streaming thing set up whatever it is like maybe twitch or youtube I've been practicing with Twitch every now and then. I might go back to YouTube and output. You make sure you're set to advance and uh, streaming. You want to go 35 bit and uh, keep this number two. That is like a default for Twitch for your keyframe. Keep that. Keep that level audio. Uh, keep that default. Okay, don't touch anything there. Recording. This is my best suggestion for uh, recording. Uh, you want to. Let's go right down the bit right here. This is a pro this is like DVD or Blu-ray Blu-ray quality. I can't remember, but it is like full 1080p quality. So I think yeah, Blu-ray. So yeah, a Blu-ray quality for a full HD 1080p constant bit rate. Keep that. If you go to lossless, it'll be just a huge huge file, and then yeah, it'll be like 13 gigabytes for like a five minute video. And with this, it'll keep it down to at least three gigabytes for a five-minute video. And, like, and uh, so keep that. Everything else, just leave it alone. So that is strictly for uh, recording through your Elgato HD60 Pro into your PC. And I use MP4. You know, it's for you know PC standard. And I use the NVIC. This is for uh, when you want to use your GPU to encode the video that you record and I currently have the GTX 970 and you know it, it does the job very well combined with the Elgato 60 Pro and OBS you know it does it very well and I keep it at 10, 1080p full quality audio you know just kind of leave that as is video like a yeah, I'm recording I want to capture 1080p and then output at 1080p and here's the FPS uh, I'll, like since your K 
capturing in 60, you know, output to uh, 59.94. That is like the standard broadcasting practice, you know, for wherever, wherever, like like a film is being filmed in 24p, but it will be, it will play in 23.978 or 9.98. Hotkeys, you know, wherever you want. Advanced, and yeah, that is about it. And I hope this guy helps you out. You know, you know, shoot me a question if you have it. You know, leave a comment if you have a question. And uh, yeah, I kind of started this all on my own. I had to, I had to research a lot to kind of what I wanted to do. And a lot of people use this for streaming, but they really didn't talk about recording. So yeah, I could even yeah, I could hook this up to my Elgato HC60 Pro to my uh gh5 you know through the elgato 60 pro and have like a lossless quality and about the audio i'll give you guys a uh, kind of quick tip here if you have the blue yeti like i have just go if you have it already set up here in the sources go to your audio input capture you want to go to filters and you want to put all these things on it you know compressor noise gate and noise suppression and uh, it is really good as default because then you will hear like you won't hear any background noises and uh and it'll suppress any other noise like it'll like uh, the compressor compresses the noise so like, you won't hear the hum of your computer very much noise gate you know uh the, by default it is really good you know it just allows like uh whatever noise is activated like i'm talking right now like if i go silent and then I talk again, you know, that's what it does. Right now my computer is here on my right, humming away. And then noise suppression, you know, that is so I don't overmodulate here in the levels. So whiskey, alpha, whiskey, alpha, whiskey, alpha. Yeah, so that's just a, another tip for audio, guys. So you get in your uh, gamer position, whatever that might be, and you want to keep at least, you know, five to six inches, you know, away from the mic. So you don't want you don't don't want to be ridden in the mic too much. So yeah, maybe that might be a little bit too close. So probably around there. This does kind of slip a little bit. There we go. Yeah, probably around there. Just, just go for your four fingers. That is about like five six inches. You know that should be good. And I'm looking at the levels in OBS, and they they're not going to right either. And yeah, that's about there. So now I can use this uh, same setup either for a console gameplay or a PC gameplay. And uh, one thing that's missing is a shock mount. And uh, yeah, that's probably you know, your next thing on the list is to get a shock mount for your mic stand. But this is only like the next step up from uh, what this mic has to offer. It only has to offer like just one one stand, like getting this uh, arm is like the next step. And then probably a shock mount step after that but it depends you know how much money you want to spend or what your, what your budget is like this is like a low budget still and i've been like doing this off and on for like four years you know it's more of a hobby than uh than, than other youtubers that are making a living doing this you know this is like my hobby so, but it is a passion of mine so i'm kind of working my way up there you know little by little all right guys thanks for watching thanks for tuning in and i hope to do more videos like this whether it be vlog or another update video, I just want to share with you guys, you know, how I do my game capture. And it actually took me quite a lot of research on how to use OBS in doing recording wise, because a lot of people just use it to stream. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys later. You know, this is Whiskey, signing out.